Hey people, what's up YouTube? Coach Miller Light here. So happy to be here today on Currently a Theory. As we discuss, you know it, my very favorite, the teachings of Abraham. So today was my 114th straight day of meditation, really finding great benefit in this meditation streak. I am finding it easier. It's starting to get easier. I'm starting to really like it more that this is a very peaceful part of my day. Really exciting. So I had today day 114 of meditation and then the passages from the teachings of Abraham, which means I'm listening to Abraham in my headphones, the teachings of Abraham, Abraham hyphen Hicks on YouTube and writing it word for word. So in honor of Father's Day, I did a Google search or a, a YouTube search for Abraham on parenting, Abraham on fathers. And here's what I got, something very interesting. Not what I was expecting, but pretty cool. Really neat message today, here's what they said. It's the expansion and the evolution that is the true fun of life. It's exploration, expansion, evolution that you came for, joyous expansion. You didn't come for a feathered nest. You didn't come for someone else to create your reality for you, mostly because they can't but you didn't come with those intentions. So this was a lady in the hot seat who was asking Abraham about her, her way she was raised and feeling like her parents didn't love her enough. They liked her, but they didn't love her. And Abraham just has this great point about parenting and, and helpful to look at it from the angle of being a child and from the angle of parenting is that this next section, which really rocked my world, pretty neat thing that Abraham said. They said, sometimes, in fact, very often, you come with strong agreements and clusters into this physical environment with an intention that goes something like this. Okay, now they're saying, in fact, very often, you come in clusters into this physical environment with an intention. We come with strong agreements that we come in in clusters very often with strong agreements and intentions. So what I was mostly getting out of this today is that whatever our upbringing situation was or is or continues to be, that was part of the intention that we made and we should not ever compare ourselves to anyone else because everyone has their own journey. Everyone has their own intentions that they set when they came forth into the physical, including those with those parents who brought them forth into the physical. Pretty neat. Here's what it says. Okay, I'll go back and, and reread this section and then go into it. Sometimes, in fact, very often, you come with strong agreements and clusters into this physical environment with an intention that goes something like this. Your parents saying, we will provide an avenue for you to come forth. It will be a very good one. It will be a really balanced one. And you will figure out what you want. We will not be the vortex through which all of it comes. Not just talking about material things and money, but in all manner of support. Because most children believe that their parents owed it to them to support them in all ways, emotionally, mentally, financially. And when you're looking for, some, for something from someone that it was never intended to be that way, and worse, you compare it with another who did intend it to be that way, then your conclusion is there is something wrong with our relationship. And we want to say, everything is so very right about that relationship. Isn't this so cool? What a cool angle Abraham gives here, that we came forth with intention. So those who came forth into a, a very feathered nest and seemed like everything was teed up for them, they knew that before they came and came forth with that intention. Those who came into an environment where their parents weren't really there for them, or they didn't get support emotionally, or maybe they didn't get support financially, whatever it was, what Abraham is saying here is we had those intentions before we came in for a reason is what I'm getting out of it. You know, the woman in the hot seat was like saying that it wasn't good for her. And Abraham was making this point that because you didn't get the emotional support you needed from your parents, you sought out and found that support from your own self, which is a place where you can get it that isn't conditional. And that this woman was greatly benefited by it. And Abraham's point was, you knew when you came in that those were your parents and that's how it was going to be. And you all came in with a clear intention for the way that it was. So if I'm comparing myself, if I'm comparing anything in my life to anybody else, well then 
I'm not in the game and I choose to be in the game. I choose to get in the game and understand the rules of the game so that I can live accordingly. All right, Abraham says, when you're looking to someone to give you what you think you need and you believe you deserve it from them and they're out of the vortex, they can't give it to you. Isn't it interesting that we, we come forth with this idea that our, we deserve something from our parents and it's their job to do this for us. And Abraham saying, that's not true, unless it is true, unless that was the intention before we came in really cool information today. What I'm getting out of it mostly is to know that everything that's happening in my life and all my situations and circumstances are perfect, that it's all perfection. It's all unfolding perfectly and not to compare myself to anybody else because I don't know what their intention was before they came in. I don't know their agreements they made, but I do know that I can know if I'm feeling good in the moment. And that's a message I hear over and over again is how am I doing on the emotional scale? That whatever my emotion is, this is my vibrational relativity to my inner being. Inner being, high flying. And if I'm down here, if I'm comparing myself to another, of course I'm not gonna measure up, right? Tool of the day, here we go, baby. What do you say for a tool of the day? Tool of the day is wherever I am, look around here and see what do I have to work with? What do I have to work with from right where I am? Because no matter where I am, I have a lot to work with. No matter what my current circumstance, no matter what my past, no matter what my everything, I have things, I have ingredients of life that I can work with to take my life more in the direction that I choose. Things I can work with right here and now. So instead of looking around and comparing, because when I compare, I never measure up. It's the way that that whole, that whole mental system works. When I compare, I'm down here on the, on the emotional scale. I end up not happy. Why? Because we didn't come forth to compare. We came forth to feel the greatest that we can in this moment right now. And in doing so, align ourselves with that higher power, that source energy, that inner being, And when we do, we feel the elation that comes with that. The elation of being in alignment with that vortex. So it's a process and what can I do from here? Look around, what do I have to work with? What do I have to work with right here and now? All right, people, until next time.